What's up everyone and today I'm going to be showing you how to tie fishing knots. It's pretty easy once you get the hang of it and we're going to start off with the loop knot which once you get the hang of it is pretty simple. So I'm just going to take this. This is a circle hook. You're going to take it and here's what you're going to do. You take your line and you're going to bring it and you're going to make just like that, billy knot, and then you're going to take your circle hook and put it on, put your line through the eye, so now you look, you get your line, circle, and then circle hook, so then you're going to take this, and if you look, the line, hang on, the line is coming out of this side so we're going to take our line right here and put it in through the other side and you bring it in through the circle you take it and bring it in through the circle pull it out and so it's going through the circle like that just like that on the other side where it's coming out so we have our loop now we're going to push in one two and like that and I'm just gonna grab like this and then you want to wet it this helps it and then you have your circle hook with your loop knot I'm not sure how well that showed up on the camera, but it'll work. So, um, for the next knot, I'm going to be showing you how to tie a pretty basic knot, the fisherman's knot. And that is really easy to remember. So all you're going to need is a line and a hook. You're going to take your line, you're going to stick it through the eye, like that. And you're gonna grab one, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna take it and you hold it. So I have it's just sticking through the eye, and I'm pinching it like this. I'm gonna grab the hook and I'm gonna turn it either direction. One, two, three, four, five, six. So once it's turned six times. Hang on, I didn't have enough line there. So we're going to take it. And you can see it's all twisted up. Don't let go because it will untwist. You're going to take it. You see that loop right there? There should be a loop. And you're going to put it through that loop just like that. So it's through the loop. And it looks like that. You're going to pull through. You're going to pull this. And then you're gonna pull. You can take this and pull down. You can pull it tight as you can. <clears throat> and there you go. That right there. It's the fisherman's knot. See? You get it to focus on that. It's not focusing, but it'll look like that. You can also look them up online, but this is online. So the next one is really easy. It's like probably the simplest way you could do it. And um, all you're going to do, take your line, and here's what you're going to do. You take it, push it together like that, and pinch, grab right here. And you can go down, and then, ah, uh, hang on, let me, okay, so, take it, bend it over, pinch right here with this hand, pinch it like that, bring it down, and you have this loop, now you bring 
the end right through. So you've got like that, and then you just pull. And you've got a loop like that. And then you take your hook, pinch that down, take your hook, slide it right on, pull up, and you take it, take your loop, and you just hang on. I just realized something. My loop wasn't big enough, but what you do, I'm just gonna make a really big one because I'm not gonna sit here and just redo it. What you do is you make a loop, pull it right on through, like that. You do the billy knot, but with a loop. Pinch it down so that way the eye of the hook, so that way the line will be able to go through the eye of the hook. You take it, it's through the eye of the hook, you got the loop, pull it. You just take it, pull it down over the front of the fishing hook, comes up to here, pull, there. That's a great way if you want to make a chicken rig or a rig with more than one hook. It's really easy. The next one is going to be the hardest. It's going to be how you tie your leader. And you're going to have to um, do this one before you put your um, before you put your hook on. So what you're going to do is you have okay. So say this is your line that goes to your fishing pole. That's connected to your fishing pole. This is your leader right here. This is your leader. So you're going to take it and pull it over. So much line in the way. You're gonna take it like that, and you're gonna pinch it just like that. Grab down to both ends, and you're gonna push, make a loop just like that. Now you're gonna take this, this end with your leader, and the end of this line that's coming off your fishing pole. Push it up through that hole, up through that um, hole, and hang on. It's hard for me to get it there. So you're going to get it up through. And then you're going to pull it shut a little bit. Now you're going to want to hold both your ends. So now you can kind of let go. So now you're going to do that again. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my line. And you're going to take it. And you're gonna push to the other side. Then you're gonna push it down through the hole. And then you're gonna pull it back out the other side. And then do that again. So you do it three times. And um, I'll show you how you know if it's right. You'll know that you did it right if you are not when you're pulling it tight so there it is make sure you hold the ends when you're not makes figure eight hang on this is 30 pound line so it's kind of hard to pull kind of hard to see on camera but it's making a figure eight see now you just lick and then pull the ends You've got your leader that right there. That right there will hold. I've never had that knot come undone. That knot's never come undone. And then um, that's pretty much it for this video. Um. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. I have a bunch more other videos like homemade Nerf gun, no, Nerf blow gun, and I have how to trap raccoons, 
and we're about to have one on how to tie flies. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Ah! Stop!